Happy World Seagrass Day! I'm Amelia and I'm the Seagrass Agriculture Technician Lead at the Ocean Conservation Trust inside the National Marine Aquarium here. So seagrass is just really, really similar to your grass on your garden or on your field, but it lives completely in the sea and it provides loads and loads of habitats for lots of other species. We're talking about all of the commercial fish, so pollock, place, flatfish. When they're juveniles, they have this nursery ground that allows them to be protected and then as they grow up, they're able to progress out into our fish stock. Seagrass is also incredibly unique in the way that it is able to sequest carbon. So it's not just photosynthesizing, similar to a tree or plants on land, but it's also storing carbon through picking it up in its sedimentation and then storing that in the root system locking it in and keeping it there for thousands and thousands of years. This is all contributing to reducing our climate crisis. Unfortunately, since about the 1930s, seagrass has been under threat. So that's under threat from this horrible wasting disease that's killed off a lot of the plants, as well as under threat from boat users, anchoring and coastal erosion, moving all of that sediment around. Through our Blue Meadows programme, we aim to protect our seagrass meadows with our community engagement, our scientific research and our conservation efforts. If you'd like to find out more about our ocean habitat restoration work, please visit the Blue Meadows website.